Hey everybody, I've stripped this engine down now. This was the parts engine that uh, I spoke of. The one that I had originally gotten to be my replacement. Um, but then I didn't need to uh, do what I wanted to do. I found one small crack in the head over here, or it looks at least like a crack to me. Um, and so I started searching for cost to get the valves redone and um, to, you know, get that repaired. And in the process, um, I found the heads that are on that motor over there. Now, so I ended up with this simply being a parts motor. And that's all, that's all it is. If you look at it, um, it says engine rotation is counterclockwise. This is a reverse rotation engine. It's a marine engine. It's Chrysler 225. I'm going to sell this as it sits with the exception of the distributor. Everything else on there, I, I don't really need. You know, even the front motor mounts, if they'll do you some good in your vessel or whatever, that's fine and dandy. The distributor I'm keeping, if you want the distributor or need the distributor when you're buying this engine then just send me a note um, and we'll we'll talk about it this valve cover is rusted through right there um, probably what happened was it was surface rust and then nobody bumped it or whatever um, it is wet in there from where I winterized it. This block's been winterized um, this year. And after this video here, I will piece in the video that my son and I made um, when we were running this engine so you know what you, what you have to look for or what you're looking at. Um, also, uh, in the other video, you'll see that I actually used a uh, manual oil pressure gauge and that's where I had it in. Obviously, it's not in there now. Um, the engine comes like you see it. I will, however, give this, I will put this on this engine for you. And the reason I'm going to do this is because you guys will need to lift the engine up and it's not going to do you a whole bunch of good if you can't pick the stupid thing up. So I will put this eye hook on the front that I removed from my engine. Okay. I'll put it on the front here and I'll tighten it up for you so you can lift the engine up when you pick it up. Um, the pulley, the, the uh, front housing cover, the water jacket, that all goes with it. Um, you know, it, it, that right there is worth a little bit, but I mean, I'm just including it with it. Uh, you know, basically, short of the distributor itself this is how you get the engine um, with this obviously because I just said that and I will stand by my word um, this is how you get the engine including the aluminum oil pan and I don't know if you can get enough light in there to see or not but it actually has a drain plug in the front uh, so you can drain the engine out while it's in your vessel or you can attach the hose to it Which a lot of people like to do so you can put the pump on it and pump it out, you know, and then just cap the hose off when you're done um, All right, that's it for now um, In just a moment, I'll cut to the other the other video for you And let's see focus. Yeah, there we go. Thanks. Oh, wow. You know what? I did the whole thing and I wasn't recording <laughs> Okay, so there's my trusty helper. Say hi, Mikey. Okay. Uh, yeah, we did. See, we're still in part time for this and putting them on that. Look at that baby run. Oh my god. Okay, and fast forward. We took that off because it was leaking. Everything else seems to be doing a fairly good job. Say hi again, Mikey. Okay. There you go. See, because. We just did this whole thing that I'm doing right now a minute ago while well, I did it and Mikey was there putting up with me um, and I forgot to push the record button. So this time I pushed the record button. Oh, and... Manual oil pressure gauge. So 
So that's not bad. It's got good oil pressure. Sounds like it's running fairly smooth. Now if I had a street car that run like that, I'd tell everybody it had a racing cam in it. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, like I said, it's got a three-quarter racing cam. Rah, rah. Which, uh, uh, for a long time, when I used to talk shit like that, I never knew what the hell that meant. <laughs> but anyway, okay, on with the show. Um, as my dad would say, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, that's, oh wait, that's not all, folks. Hold on a minute. We're going to show you how easy this bad boy starts up. Turned it off. Enabling the ignition again. Reach over here and grab our semi-pseudo fake starter button and... Which is all within safety regulations. Yeah, because <laughs> he's far enough away to be safe. Yeah, so that, that's what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? That's what daddy, that's what daddy like right there. Daddy like that. He's like, oh yeah, baby. Okay, we'll see you later. Goodbye.